I have a question for you. Do you like chickadees, erosion control, and herbal tea? I love tea. Welcome, and it is so great of you to stop in. My name is Kyle. I work here at Not So Hollow Farm, and today we are going to discuss what chickadees, erosion control, and herbal tea have in common. That leads us to the wonderful plant, the staghorn sumac, Rus typhina. It is a native North American shrub that has beautiful foliage with crimson red seed heads that are present for most of the year and lush green compound leaves in the spring, summer, and fall. Even though it's winter time, let's go out and take a look. And I am on my way to the patch of staghorn sumac that we have. Now, the interesting thing to note about staghorn sumac is that they are dioecious, which means there is individually male and female plants. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link here, but I did make a video about the difference between the two and staghorn sumac happens to be one of them. All right, so as I'm walking by, I noticed the patch of male plants. This one right here does not have any crimson berries on it. And it actually has this little stalk, which is where the flower was in June and July. But right here is one of the conical seed heads that I was talking about. And uh, what is surprising is that it is not actually made up of flowers, but seeds. Staghorn sumac gets its name from the new growth from every year. It's very velvety and soft, which is similar to the likes of deer, especially baby deer who have the small horns. So hence the name staghorn. Just think of Bambi. Three reasons to plant a staghorn sumac. And the first is that it provides food for birds. So chickadees aren't the only birds that really like sumac. There are so many species. Ruffed grouse to the fly-catching eastern Phoebe, just to name a few. And I've even seen the eastern bluebird picking away at sumac heads in April. So it feeds a wide diversity of species and is very important to get them through until the spring. The second reason is this plant is great for erosion control and it is tough as nails. Steep slope, sandy soil, gravelly soil, salt laid in from roads. This plant will do well in many different areas that other plants will not. The one thing it does not like is having wet feet. So more damp soils that stay damp for a while you may want to steer away from the staghorn sumac. The reason why it's great for slopes is that it does a great job and very quickly at providing a securing blanket that keeps the soil or sandy soil there. The way it does is, is it spreads by root suckers about two to three inches below the soil. This forms a nice dense mat, a net that retains the soil and secures it with a little bit of strength. The third reason is that you can make tea from the crimson red seed head. This tea is high in vitamin C and tastes fabulous. Got my Felcos. I'm gonna collect a few. Got my seed heads. It's getting a little cold, so I think it's about time to go back inside.
Hey Pedro, would you like to try some sumac tea? So this year, I think it's a great idea to plant some sumac in your yard, especially if you have a naturalized area that has some poor soil that you've had trouble growing other plants on. Don't forget to check the links below. I'll have added some extra information about staghorn sumac. Please like, subscribe, and I hope to see you at Not So Hollow Farm in the spring.